Hi everyone and welcome to the Shrine of Anubis. So for this video, I want to share with you how I got started with Anubis, how I met him and how I got started with him and working with him. So it was mid-2010, months after I had a spiritual awakening earlier that year. There was a man from India who was giving astrological birth chart readings for free <laughs> in a starseed forum that I used to be a part of. So, of course, I joined in and I requested one. In the reading, he pointed out that I had a past life in ancient Egypt and that I was a priestess who had a lot of knowledge on the occult. And I am paraphrasing a document I haven't read in 10 years. Uh, so a lot of details are missing, um, as well as having ties to the Sirius star. He strongly suggested that I look into the history of ancient Egypt. So I took his advice and I did. The first figure I came across was Anubis. <laughs> Clueless on who he was. I felt an immediate and strong attraction to him, as if I had known him before, as if we had been together before. I read up on anything and everything I could come across about him. I started saving his pictures in my laptop. I was so fixed on knowing him, meeting him, and I just did not know how. I was only a few months off from organized religion and exploring other paths, so paganism was holding my attention, but back then there were no groups for such things and Facebook groups were not as popular or as used. Eventually, I had my first dream with him. I was walking through a dark tunnel and I reached the light at the end because I saw a figure standing at the end of this tunnel. So I rushed to see who it was, but when I arrived, it hid from me. I asked, where are you, Anubis? I want to see you. But he responded to me, it's not your time yet. Go back. However... <laughs> I refused to move. I responded no. Then I felt a strong current of wind pushing me back. I started like struggling and grunting as I tried to remain in place, but it just swept me off my feet and I flew backwards. I slammed into my physical body and I woke up realizing that I had astral traveled. Now, I continue to insist to do dream work with no results. Random friends would share pictures of him for the hell of it, not knowing what was happening to me. Until one day in September 6th of 2010, I was browsing online, I clicked a link, and I was led to a YouTube video instead with a song for him which is Anubis by Septic Flesh. I cried my eyes out. I knew, I knew it was him. He was responding to me. It confirmed a reading I had the week prior from a friend who told me that he also wanted to reach out because we shared more than a past life connection. And not everyone remembers him as much any longer, which broke my heart. At the time, I was terrible with the tarot. I was less than a year into it and I had not done readings to practice on other people yet as I wanted to practice on myself first. So I couldn't communicate with him that way. But the dreams and the astral encounters, oh boy, those are not safe for work. 
The thing with him was that I felt a strong romantic and sexual attraction to him ever since the first time I saw him. That's why I became desperate to learn everything about him because I could not explain what I felt and most importantly, why I was feeling that way. I was a hormonal 17 year old girl though. I tried to suppress that part of me, but he would bring it up in dreams. He would confront me with my own thoughts and fantasies. It was always highly embarrassing, but I always felt safe with him. So the awkward feeling would go away fairly quickly. I grew closer to him. I started learning more about paganism in 2013 and 14 when I discovered Tumblr and became public with my tarot readings, something which he inspired me to do when I did a tarot reading for myself for the first time, having a statue of him with me which is when I then started to dive into witchcraft and including him, but only to assist me with giving tarot readings to people, as I did not practice spell work at the time. To this day, however, it is rare that I include him in my spells, but when I do, I only work with him when it comes to protection spells for myself and or my family. I have never done a curse with him as I feel weirded out of interacting with him in such a way to cast a curse on someone. I have tried to move beyond that uncomfortable feeling and doing it anyways, but when I reach out to him to assist me with a curse, I get clam blocked. <laughs> He knows, he knows I feel weirded out and he never pushes me. Uh, rather, he discourages me from doing something when he knows that I don't fully feel it so that I do not feel guilty for feeling that way or beat myself up for it. And this is something I will get into more detail about in a future video. But... That is how I started working with Anubis and if you guys have any questions that you may want me to answer at some point in the near future on a future video, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section what question you may have or what would you like me to uh, share with you or even show you. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell button and select all so that you can receive all the notifications of future uploads. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.